In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply number formatting to your form field so that you can force users to use a specific format. For example, if you have a phone number or a date that you want to enforce a certain formatting that your users comply with when they fill out the form, this is a way to do it. I'm going to show you in this video. If you want to learn how to create fillable forms, be sure and check out the playlist on my channel. There are several videos out there that you'll find very helpful. I also use templates in my videos that are available for purchase. I'll include a link in the description below the video if you're interested in purchasing any of those. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. All right, we're going to take a look at a form here. And in this form, we're using legacy tool form fields. And I've already, this is a form that I've already created and locked. It's a protected form. So now that I want to edit it, I want to uh, apply formatting and force users to use a certain format when they insert a phone number or their date of birth. So I'm going to come up to my developer tab in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to click on restrict editing. And I'm going to stop protection on my document. And I'm doing this on a document that's already protected. If you're creating your form from scratch, you won't have it restricted and you won't need to do that. All right, so now the form is unprotected and so I can come in and make all of the edits that I need to on my form. So what I want to do is apply some formatting to this telephone number form field. And since this is a plain text form field, what I want to do is open up the property. So all I have to do is select, come up here to properties, and notice that the text form field options window pops up. Under the type, there's a drop down. Go ahead and hit that and select number. You'll notice when you select that that this box over here changes to number format, and there's a drop down that you can select from. And there are some options that are already pre populated in here. For example, if this was a currency, you would select this option, or if you wanted that to show up as a percent, you could select this option. But we, what we want is for this to show up in a certain formatted way for a US telephone number. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here the way I want it to appear, which is the first three digits, which is the area code in parentheses. And then we're just going to type the hashtag symbol for number for three digits and then close parentheses space and then three digits with a hyphen and then four digits for the phone number. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I want to format the date of birth. So this is a date field and we want users to type this in with a particular date format. I'm going to double click to open the properties on that form field. Or again, you can come up to properties to open up the window. I'm going to under the type, I'm going to select date. And when you select date, the box over here changes to date format. And so from the date format, we can make a selection. And so I want people who are filling in the form to fill it in with month slash day slash year. So I'm going to select that top option and click OK. So now that we've applied some of this formatting, let's test out and see how it works and see if it works the way we want it to. Well, I'll show you a couple of things that you're going to want to look out for. And um, what we'll do is come up to restrict editing, make sure that box number two is checked for filling in forms, and then say yes, start enforcing protection. We won't put a password because we're just testing it out right now. All right, so on the telephone number, if I enter 10 digits, just 10 numbers, and hit tab, it will automatically format that into the telephone format that we programmed for it, which is great. Um, for date of birth, if I put in a random date of birth, it will let me enter in that date of birth. Now, let's come back to the form and let's see if I enter in too many digits in the telephone number field. And then I try and hit tab it's going to pop up an error and it's going to say, please enter a number. And so what we want to do to prevent that from happening is we can actually insert some tip text into the document so that when the user hovers their mouse over a word in the document, a pop up window can pop up with instructional text. So you can advise the people filling in the form to enter 10 digits with no special characters. And that way they'll enter it in correctly and they won't get this error. All right, so let's I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. The other thing we want to take a look at is 
Um, we're gonna backspace and delete that. If we had entered in the date, uh, simply entered in with without any slashes, say a date, and hit tab without the slashes, it's also giving us an error saying that it wasn't valid because we're forcing formatting. So we wanna make sure we tell our users how to fill it in correctly so that they don't get frustrated filling in the form. So what I'm gonna show you next is how to insert this hover text that, that'll give them the tip on how to fill these form fields in correctly. All right, so let's click OK and backspace and let's come back up to stop protection on our document so we can go back and format it again. And so what we're going to do is we want when users to hover over the telephone um, word, we want the tip text to pop up and tell them how to enter that in correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight telephone and I'm going to come over to the insert tab, come over here to quick parts select field and come down to auto text list and then select field codes. Here you'll notice that there's a formula down here that tells us how we need to fill in this field um, behind the scenes so that uh, the hover text will pop up. So the first part of this formula that's in quotes is the literal text. And so we want literally the text to say telephone, right? Because it's a telephone number that we want them to see. So we'll type in telephone. And that's the word that's going to display in the document. And then we simply type the rest of the formula that's indicated here, which is a space with a slash s space, another quotes. Style name, we're going to type no style capital N, capital S, and then close the quotes. We're gonna put another space, a slash, a T, a space, and then another set of quotes. And in this quote, you'll notice is your tip text. So whatever text you want to indicate here is what's gonna show up in that pop-up window. So we want it to say, enter 10 digits, no special characters and close the quotes and then click OK. All right, so now when a user mouses over that word, notice I put my mouse over there and this hover text, the pop-up menu pops up and says enter 10 digits, no special characters. Now we may wanna highlight this and let people know who are filling in the form uh, some instructions saying, be sure and mouse over any highlighted words in the document to get additional instructions on how to fill in the form. So for this one, we may want to select it and highlight it. And so then the users know anything that's highlighted, they can hover over it and uh, instructional text will pop up. Now let's do the same thing for date of birth because we know that that was a very special format that we want people to enter it in. So we're gonna select that, come back up to insert, go to quick parts, come to the field, go down to auto text list, click on field codes. And in this one, we're gonna type date of birth is what the text that the literal text that will show up in the document space slash s space quotes no style with quotes space slash t and then here we want to say enter formatted date as month slash day slash year and close your quotes and click OK. And so now we want to select that and highlight it as well. So now when we hover our mouse over that, the pop-up menu says enter formatted date in the correct format. So this is an easy way to force formatting in your form fields if you want those number formats and date formats to show up the right way on your, you, on your forms, and then how to enter that tip text that will pop up automatically for users so they fill everything in correctly for you on your forms. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website at SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.